So I am a book artist and uh, everything I do produces a book, a unique book. And today, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I have uh, 20 sheets of paper and I'm going to put them together in a way so the result will be an accordion book. The accordion book will go, this first, it will go on the floor. I will ask your help as while the book grows in this direction to help me spread it on the floor and going that way. And then uh, you see there are some um, Sharpies and pens. And uh, yesterday was Earth Day and we are talking about the waterfront. And uh, I uh, thought, why don't, um, you know, to let you write or uh, draw whatever you like or on, on, uh, on, the, on the floor, or whatever, the, when the, paper, the pages that will reach the floor, you are welcome uh, and encouraged to help me out. And uh, then when, uh, the, at one point, I will turn the book around and uh, and I, I will saw the other side. So I will turn the sewing machine and we'll go the other way. And uh, at the end of the, um, of the making of the book and your uh, collaboration with me, I will move the sewing machine down and uh, you probably saw the, a, a bunch of objects and plants at the entryway on, uh, uh, on a, a, a table. And I will get those plants and put them in ink and dip them into ink. And I will try to write a sentence on the other side of the book. So I'm not going to touch your side. I will, I will work on the other side of the book and, uh, and that will be the end of the performance. Um, but uh, the, uh, uh, please don't leave me alone. I'm here to chat. I am not here. <coughs> no, I'm not. This is a performance, including a sewing machine that includes the sewing machine brings domesticity and warmth everywhere. So um, we are in the gallery, but the sewing machine, as a statement, brings home. going to be quite boring for a while, but if we chat. So maybe I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. I, uh, in 2012, I started, uh, I guess I made a decision. I was, a, a I, was, I was not a performance artist at that time. I was a, a, an insta installation artist. But uh, something happened in my life and I felt like uh, I had to change completely the direction of my work and uh, I started making unique books. I started with music by collaborating with musicians and by producing books by listening to music and kind of trans transcribing the music into um, a pattern that came with this one machine. And also using the, the rhythm, the beat of the sewing machine to communicate with the musicians whenever I had the opportunity to find the musicians interested in uh, taking the risk to play with me and my sewing machine. And I did, um, and uh, I, uh, did, uh, the first series of books, in fact, were linked to music. And then, uh, after that, I started working on, in 2015, I started working on project, uh, projects uh, using the sewing machine as a, 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 a race, its history of uh, repairing and mending. So I started uh, making, um, uh, doing projects uh, uh, about the social justice or politics 
one of these projects was uh, a book as a bridge across the Mexican border, which was a, 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 a performance of the bus while traveling from San Diego to Tijuana in 2016, at the same time while the, uh, 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 really the, the, day, the day after the uh, confirmation of Donald Trump, uh, uh, the President of the United States. And because of that, um, I went to, uh, you know, I was able to raise the money, go to uh, San Diego, go up on this bus, and uh, use the bus as a way to accelerate the growth of the line, of, of the sewing of the stone line over the book and make this a book as a bridge across the Mexican border. This book actually was recently acquired by the New York Public Library. It was one of the most amazing experiences I had in my whole life. Right now, since the beginning of the war, uh, from the Russia Ukrainian war, I have been starting on March 6, uh, 2022, and every single week I go either to the um, uh, Russian consulate, Ukrainian consulate, uh, other places, including the White House, and etc. And um, and I take a, a sheet of fabric, as tall or more or less like me, and I tear it apart. And by tearing it apart, I define how easy it is to destroy something, to break something, to rip something, as war is doing. And then I sit down and I uh, sew it back because mending and repairing takes time and care, as you can see, but it can, done. It can be done. And so I, um, and then uh, last uh, picture, I stand up and I show the repair sheet of fabric. So every sheet of repair sheet of fabric uh, is added to my weight and for this book, which is called, it will be a big book because every sheet or the page is as tall as I am. And, um, and that, uh, you know, and I, today I saw the 59th page, just before coming. If you would like to make a drawing or even, you know, write your name or a little heart, you are welcome to, uh, to do it. Uh, here is everything you need. Nobody wants a story. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> this book is kind of modeled after the yearbook. You know, you know the yearbook is what comes out of um, usually middle school, elementary school. The kids want uh, a little drawing from their friends and uh, um, a little sentence for remembering school time. And uh, it's a long history. This kind of book, uh, the yearbook, has a long. History starting from the from the Renaissance or even before. And what I like about this uh, uh, model, this book, is the fact that the book itself becomes a document of the event and uh, the participation of the people create a community that and the community is documented in the book itself. There are so many things happening, 
just by getting together, sitting down, and making an accordion group together. Eventually, I will show also the other side. We have all these other pages here, waiting for some more. Why don't you do it? Do you want me to do it? Yeah, <laughs> please, please, please. You are the one that has to do it the most. Well, that's great. Uh, if you are doing my job. What it is about. <laughs> yes, it is. If you are not there, uh, this Can thing that doesn't break? exist. Yeah. I will make some marks too. Good, good for you. Another project is still about the nature. Uh, it's a project I've done in 2018 and uh, in a river. The Delaware River in um, the area near Narrowsburg is becomes flat and wide and wide. wide, wide. And in that area, it separates an area of Pennsylvania and New York State where fracking, it, 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 people, uh, when, you know, you can do, people do fracking. Fracking impacts nature, but mainly impacts the river because the water, uh, to, 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 for fracking, you need an immense amount of water. And the water used for fracking is then uh, impacted uh, poison. So it has to be disposed of. And because it has to be disposed of, a lot of masses, masses happen because of the huge quantity of water that needs to be disposed of. And also the river is impacted because it, it can get, pollu get polluted, but mainly it loses. In, there are tons of water that is uh, extra taking away from the river. So to the wild is another thing. And in that river, I did something very similar to what I am doing now, except that instead of sheets of paper, I had sheets, long sheets of cork. The cork, as you can see from now, imagine the river was going this way, down with the, the current would catch the cord and take it down the current with itself. And I would, by sewing the cord one to the other one, I made an accordion book. What else can I do? And, uh, and uh, at the same time, I, I made a, a line a line running over the river. Symbolically showing the two sides of the river uh, using the sewing machine with its uh, as a symbolic, with the symbolism of uh, the mending and repairing which I keep using all the time.
nicht das Pool. so simple that has been there all my life and yet I never seen it. I never I was never able to really I'm sure. Well now we're going to go the other side. Um, and the table looks like it's going to fall over. It's the legs. Ah the legs are not falling yet. Thank you. That's really helpful. Uninterrupted line, impossible. With the sewing machine, you can. You can go on on an accordion book for as long as you can, as you like. You can get to really make an infinite line. You have just not sleep and keep going. I am going to show you now. I'm going to see all your. Books.
Japanese painting. I can't do it. But the most important part thing is there is your work in the back. <laughs> Yeah, because it everything happens that I don't want. <laughs> it's all that I don't want. My pleasure meeting you.
Thank you.